the, what do we need these for? Um, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah, no, 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 it's true. It's well, why do we need a shovel and a rake? Because like, like you're not wearing shoveling clothes. Yeah, no, I've got them in the back for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see you there. Okay, Are we bye. going to help a quilt to do something? Yeah. Exercise. Yeah. Okay. See ya. So you found the gravel. load and we'll be we'll be right <laughs> okay yeah let's do it lucky we lucky we bought the rake <laughs> Grouper. Okay. Hello, Hello Marie. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. For those of you who don't know where we are, we are actually in Mount Bryan. Is that right? That's correct. And we're here with Marie Cuplin, who is a member of the So yes, Jane, we're here. Yes. <laughs> now, before we go in, I just have to say If I was like this, I'd be, uh, yeah, we'll do our best, we'll do our best. Okay. Let's go. I so can't this wait. This is my studio. This is my little studio. Oh, this is pretty cool. Come on in. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is your forte. You love this, don't you? Yes. So, loves machine embroidery, machine painting. Oh. So it's made it somewhere for her to smile. Quilts Beautiful. mean a lot, don't they? Yeah. Look at that view. Let's have a look. It's beautiful up there. It's just done. Lots of bags. I hear you do classes.
you into thread painting, do you think? And I did a quilt and I put around its border. You can hear the fairies. I'd rather have a devil. And when it came to doing the devil, I thought, how am I going to do this devil? You know, will I, will I do it in fabric and applique? What will I do? And I had seen thread painting. And I thought, right, it's time this to give this a go. Mm. And I got stuck into it. Wow. 16 hours later, I had my first thread painted devil. Goodness. And he now lives in Japan. Oh, isn't that fantastic? It's just so lovely. I'm just, <coughs> even the very, background of this. It's very tactile. Yeah. I'm very into three-dimensional work. Yeah. Very quick funny story. See the little glittery fish in the in the coral? Oh, yeah. The leaf sequence. Oh. Yes, yes, I can. I oh. didn't realise I was dropping them on the floor when I was doing <laughs> it. And I had, an, I had a horrible little dog. And I discovered these really funny glittery droppings out in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a thread painted three dimensional trout. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so while we're talking, with all of this, do you have a favourite tool? I am obsessed with tools. Okay. I have everything ranging from <laughs> assorted needles through to zip okay. but the single most important thing for me is physical things i know that sounds very strange but if i don't have my hands mm. and i don't have my eyes mm. i can't do the work mm. yeah so as far right. as tools go they're what you're looking after the most yeah. mm. i do love work so you're a new york beauty girl are you? oh yeah. look yes all paper threads. Yeah. Where's the top one? Okay. The Borough Girl so particularly like paper threads in some things. So I really like it. So yeah. we'll, we'll move like him out the way. Yes, he's huge. And there's just all sorts of little things oh, in here. That's, that's just a practice piece. <laughs> so you went home and did that? Yes. Okay, here's the question. Marie Kaplan, do you have between Zero and five. Yes, Do you that's have it. between zero and ten? I would say so. Between ten and no. Oh, well You're done. Not, I took advantage of COVID okay. and caught up and did quite a lot of my UFOs. I started things. I didn't finish anything. <laughs> Wasn't that this lovely? This is one of my <laughs> favourite, favourite ones. Mm. Um, so you were telling me you're in, telling us you're in the borough group, and I believe they've just taken on a new venture. Yes, we're um, we're doing quilts for the Adelaide Children's Hospital. Okay. For a pain management unit. Oh, lovely. I love that community. They're my very favourite. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of the girls. They've all really rallied to the call. Yeah. These are just beautiful, aren't they? Oh, here's the call. Yeah. I saw this a call in Tassie. This is the example of the perfect points quilt. Okay. That I viciously expect beginners to learn how to sew. Oh, well. And mostly they do. Yep. Um, so I'm looking over there. There's a lovely banana freedom team and a cooking team and a mustard. Yes. Um, I've actually got three. I've got a smaller banana that I've got yeah. in the car that I take to um, Very Oriental. Yeah. Isn't it? That was sort of something different. And there's, yes, I got the Q, uh, the Q16. Mm -hmm. um, oh, when did I do that? Oh, last Easter. That yeah. was my part. <laughs> and I am so in love with it. It's yeah. a beautiful machine. All bananas are, of course. There's a devil. Yeah, there's one of my devils. And I made a commitment when I started doing.
through the window of of never even smiling with your mouth open. Yes. Yes. I wanted to show that they're fragile. Yes. So do you thread paint direct onto the quilt? No, no. no. I sandwich organza and the dissolvable stabiliser. And I stitch a motif. When I have that finished, I soak it and then I singe around the edges. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've actually had that happen. Oh no. Um, singe around the edges and I then applique it on. And if there's any little wisps of hair that can be put out onto the quilt, that sort of brings it to yes. life. Mm. You can't half tell it like cats. No. No, I, I think this lady is a cat lady. Yes. I actually know this Not lady has several cats. And they are at the end of the beautiful. You want the blue wren? Blue wrens. Do you get them in the garden here? No. 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 Um, I did in Tasmania. I did in New South Wales yeah. when I lived there. Sadly, here I don't. Mm. But we get lots of people just mm. snooping around. And, just and behind you is all your storage area. It's I'll go this way. I can't go that way, it's blocked off. I'm <laughs> coming. This is stash number one. Oh, wow. This is stash number one. And this is some UFOs on the top. I might need to breathe in. I'll put them up there. I definitely need to breathe in. And all upholstery fabrics. Mm. Wow. Very well organised. I love all that. That cupboard is. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have Here stash we, number two. Here we have jam push yes. slam the door. Yes. This is the eye frame. Right, it fall yeah, out. Mostly fat quarters on the front okay. shelf. So do you buy meters or fat quarters or just what do you see? I love fat quarters. Yeah. Um, I love petite. Okay, I did so notice a few boutiques. I've got a lot of, I've got a whole crate of boutiques. Yes. Um, That's beautiful. fantastic. So sometimes I'll buy meterage, sometimes mm. I'll get fat quarters. Uh, I have found when I've sort of packed to move, yes. I'll find one fabric and I've got three meters. Yeah. And then I find another three meters of the same fabric. I really liked and that And I one. think, gee, I must have loved that. Mm, you know? This is just lovely. And this is Coco. -co. Momo. My, um, my cat's Coco. Momo's the little... <laughs> now that's hard. What if we say Hello, yes, Marla. we've got the wrong one? And the threads. Look, it, it is. It's just lovely here. When I moved from Tasmania, I had a very good friend named Anne. Mm -hmm. And Anne and I spent days and days sitting around the table with, with plaid wrap. And we plaid wrapped every roll of thread. Mm. And there was over 3,000 strips of thread. Goodness. Inspired by nature. Absolutely. Now, do you, can you think of anything else we need to ask this clever lady while we've got her in our company? We'll have to see if she can come down to the guild one day yeah, and okay. put a show and tell. And I'll just, I'll just put a quick comment in. Oh, yes. The amazing yeah and the thing that makes his work even more amazing and it goes back to my comment about health four five years ago at easter he had an accident and he cut three fingers Ooh. his right hand his dominant wow. hand and he had a three-year break where he couldn't do his work it broke his head Mr. Mm. he had been a, a knife Mm. Which is beautiful. So this has just been wonderful. 
Thank you for interrupting us, aren't you? We're going to go. <laughs> Sorry ahead. about the flies. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Isn't that We're used to flies. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to go and have a cuppa and we've got some more of this gorgeous stuff. We'll catch you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.